So hello to everybody. I'm Stefan. I'm the sales director of uh, Dreamship uh, in Germany. Um, Dreamship um, is a company that makes uh, two lines of products. Um, the first line of products is the cameras and the other lines of products is the uh, uh, streaming devices uh, that we call Barracuda. Um, Dreamship is uh, around 100 engineers, uh, so I would say that's a decent size uh, with a lot of engineering knowledge uh, inside the company. The company exists for a long time, uh, but we have launched um, quite recently uh, products with our names on it, uh, so the Dreamship name on it, uh, since IBC three or four years ago. Um, so since then, it's it has been really successful. Um, and so what do we do is really uh, those two lines of products with cameras. I will show you some of the cameras we are uh, uh, doing. So that's very, those tiny, uh, very small cameras, POV uh, cameras. So that's definitely a camera that you could, could put on, on the people, on the players, uh, on the referees, on the, in, inside the helmets. Um, um, so we have different size. Um, all of the camera we have are, have the same um, um, video processing, uh, and that makes really the difference with the uh, uh, competition in uh, with the mini cameras, um, especially in US uh, and North America. Um, we have really a video processing inside the camera that is really like a normal broadcast camera, uh, and that's what makes the difference. So. Um, you know primary correction, secondary correction, um, so linear correction, non-linear correction. Uh, we do multi-matrix. So let me take the example, for instance, of a football uh, match. Uh, you want to change the green of the grass, the, 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 the blue of the sky, the color of the jersey uh, to match with the other camera. And matching is really the keyword uh, with our product. You know that all the broadcast production, cinema production, uh, they want good color reproduction, and mainly they want that all the cameras looks the same. Um, and that's exactly what we do with the tools that we are providing with our pro video processing. So it's not just changing the brightness or uh, the, the saturation. It's really going into the details. All the cameras are HDR. So um, most of the production will go in the next months or years to 1080p. Uh, HDR. We are already fully compatible with uh, 1080p HDR, uh, HLG or PQ with all the cameras. And so we, as I was showing you, we, we go from this size of camera to that size of camera, which is a little bit bigger, but that camera is a 4K camera. That's um, the uh, 4K Mini 16 camera, so that's the best camera we have in the range. Um, so this very small camera, uh, you'll see the dimension in the uh, informations, uh, um, is a one inch sensor size. So it's a big sensor. Uh, it's a global shutter. So that's the smallest global with one inch sensor size of the industry. Um, this camera has uh, different outputs. Um, so you can have two SDI outputs uh, at the same time. You can have twice the same output, but you can have also one SDI uh, with 12G on one side and having a downscale uh, on the SDI 2 uh, to 3G or 1080i. Um, that means that it's really a downscale. It's not a crop in the picture. It's really we have an internal scaler that allows you to downscale to HD. So imagine a production in, 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 in 3G. Um, where you want to record at the same time in 4K. That's possible with the camera. Or we can also uh, upload lookup table in the camera. So one output could be uh, a lookup table, while the other one is, a, is, a, is another uh, gamma curve uh, picture. So we can do a lot of different combination. Um, those cameras, so not the very small one, but the, the, the bigger one are C-mount. Uh, the smallest one are M12 S-mount. Um, and um, they can be um, Genlock. Uh, so we have also a Genlock uh, option on the cameras. Um, so we can be tree level or black burst uh, compatible for the Genlock. Um, so again, think that what we do is really broadcast. It's really broadcast quality. Uh, we can be controlled by any RCP. So we can become 
compatible with Sony RCPs. Um, we achieved that using a kind of box uh, in between the, uh, the, the the cameras and the um, RCP um, that translates the 700 protocol from Sony to my RS485 serial protocol. So you can be shaded uh, with a Sony RCP. You can be shaded with Scaroy RCP or CyanView RCP, which has which are also very nice options because you know with mini cameras the idea is to put multiple cameras in the field to uh, get more action, to have more angles, and to get the best shot uh, that you can get because the cameras are really affordable and very good quality. And so having the options to be shaded, uh, painted by uh, one, R one RCP only that can control as many cameras as you want, it's a very nice option as well. In the cameras, we have also a new slow motion camera called the SSM 500. Um, this is a brand new camera. Uh, we were hoping to show it at NAB. Uh, of course, the COVID-19 situation uh, uh, has forbidden us to show it this time. Um, but the camera is uh, ready, uh, will be available at our uh, US uh, distributor, uh, AVBB. Um, so we'll get some uh, demo equipment there. They have some inventory. Um, and this camera is very interesting. It's very interesting because um, different things. First thing, it's about the workflow. The workflow is uh, double. You can be SSM, super slow motion, so like a normal three time uh, camera, slow motion, except that we are four times. So you can push up to four phases to a server, which can be EVS, a dream catcher from Everts, uh, uh, simply live, uh, Rust video, uh, whatever server. Um, and that's one workflow. And the other workflow is more like um, a phantom uh, workflow. So you are recording internally in the memory and you can, and you can reach 500 frames per second in this case. So you can really make emotion clips, um, uh, video assist uh, um, uh, referee uh, camera, um, you can do highlights, you can do really very nice slow motion, emotion things with it. Uh, so that brings a lot of value to the production. And the nice thing is that the camera is incredibly affordable. So um, we have two models for that one, one with C-mount um, and one with a B4 ENG lens uh, option. So that one can be also very interesting to use with box lens uh, like you can find in, in the broadcast field. Um, to make really nice uh, pictures. So that's all cameras. So HDR, 3G to 4K uh, until slow motion. Then we have the Barracuda. Um, Barracuda is this uh, very small uh, unit. Uh, so you can see it in my hands, uh, a very small one. We won the product of the year at NEB show last year with it, but it's now available with uh, almost every feature already implemented in it. So what you can do in this small box is to really uh, hook up up to five cameras. So five times 1080p or uh, I, uh, 30, uh, 2997, uh, up to uh, four cameras, 1080i or P, uh, 5994, or one time 4K. And you can stream on LAN, Ethernet, uh, or over LTE, cellular, cellular communication, um, or over ASI. So we have three different outputs and all those outputs can be combined together. So that means that you could uh, ingest SDI1 at different bit rates using different output at the same time. So that's a very interesting combination. Uh, we do RTP streams, SRT streams. I mean, everything that a broadcaster needs uh, nowadays uh, is, 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 is absolutely feasible with the Barracuda. It's all about flexibility because the encoder and the decoder is the same product. So at some point you can make a point to point connection, but the next day you could do a Facebook uh, social media streaming. And in this case, um, you could put the decoder in encoding mode. Um, and then you have up to 10 inputs uh, in this case. And the next day you put a wireless RF transmitter in between using the ASI and you have a multi camera over a one ASI stream uh, using whatever uh, RF transmitter that you might use. Uh, so it's really all about flexibility in a very small size. 
and we have also options like GPS, so you can get the GPS position of the uh, of, of of the small box. So imagine a marathon uh, with different runners, uh, and then you have a, a motorbike that is following the runners, and you want to make graphics out of it. You can do the GPS position of the bike and make graphics in the in the uh, mobile units. Um, we have also CAN interface, so very useful for uh, motorbike races or car racing. Uh, again, you can get the speed of the car, you can get the RPM and make graphics out of it. Um, so we have a lot of application for that streaming device, and especially because of the size. Uh, as you've seen, it's really small, really light, uh, and it does really a lot of things. Um, if you want to know more um, about our product, uh, go to our website, which is dedicated to broadcast and cinema products, which is www.atom-1.de. Uh, I really uh, thank you for uh, your time and available for you if you have any questions. Thank you.